Finally! Freedom! True freedom! Ha ha ha! I cannot thank you enough for this gift. You have no idea how long I've pictured this moment in my mind, and it feels far better than I'd imagined. Now, for my part of the bargain, follow me. Yes, I've never been anywhere else. I used to mark the passage of time, but after a few years, it didn't seem to matter anymore. The only thing that prevented me from going insane was the working access point to the vault mainframe in my makeshift cell. The terminal in my cell used to connect with Vault 87's mainframe. Oh, oh. That gave me access to the history, literature, science, and fiction book files. I used this extensive database of works to better myself 
and my understanding of everything around me. It was only recently the others caught me using the terminal and destroyed it to torment me! <laughs> I don't remember enough to tell you everything about my former self. My metamorphosis destroyed a good deal of my long-term memory. However, I can recall being in this place when it wasn't the macabre laboratory it has become. I remember walking around this place and seeing other humans in white lab coats and blue jumpsuits. Oh, I wish I could find out more, but the personnel information for the vault wasn't in the mainframe for some reason. I feel like my identity is so close to me. Ah, I can almost see myself as a human, but can't recollect the details. Oh, it's maddening. These, these hallways are familiar to me. I, I think I used to be a resident here in better times. I wish I could remember more, but I'm afraid it's all a blur. As for the Gek, it's always rested where it does now. The foolish super mutants don't even know what they have. It was taken from a historical entry in the computer. The name comes from a man who was willing to fight and die for what he believed in. I felt it was appropriate, given my circumstances. Very well. What else can I tell you about myself? Very well. This place, so familiar. Stay here. Beyond this door, the hallways and chambers are flooded with radiation. Now get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open. Many of my lesser-minded brethren are bound to stumble across us. Here's the Gek. Our bargain is complete. As promised, yeah, here's the Gek. I hope it's worth it. Uh, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere in the the wasteland. Yes? What is it? Sorry. I'm afraid a super mutant wouldn't be welcome in the places you frequent. All I would do is cause you undue attention and you know, probably get you killed. Farewell, my friend. I suspect we may meet again. Sir. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertibird. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain he's unharmed? 
Yes, sir. He'll pass out shortly, but we can revive him. Excellent. Prepare him for transport immediately. Right away, sir. So, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. You really think I'm that stupid? I know you were there. I saw you. You're in a heap of trouble, kid. You're a traitor to the United States government. You know what happens to traitors, don't you? You give me that code, and maybe we can work out a deal for you. But you need to start talking right now. You know why. We can't start the purifier without it. The longer the purifier isn't running, the more people suffer. Now I'm running out of patience, son. I want that code, and I want it now. You lie. Colonel, I have need of you. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. Ah, alone at last. I do apologize for Colonel Autumn's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry.